another day in paradise and another day for some united sim football association action welcome back to the youtube channel you already know how we do we keep the games rolling i appreciate you for stopping by once again spend a little time with your boy while we see these two teams rumble we got ourselves a western conference matchup this time around the first time st louis and dallas will meet up for the first time this season it's going to be a fun ride dallas they come into this game with two wins and they want to get their third while st louis is going in this game at three and actually i take that back four and one they want to get back into the mix they want to make sure they get them w's right stay in the second seed as they have been pretty much all season long uh right behind huntington beach so a fun matchup a lot of weapons as you already know only one way to figure out who is going to get the victory and without further ado, I won't hold you too much. I know you want to get the games rolling. Let's go ahead and hit that play game button. Best of luck to both of these teams as always. And it looks like we are underway here. Let's go ahead and click that sound on so you know what's happening as we see the return past the 20. Couldn't make it to the 25, but it's going to be first and 10 regardless here for Dallas. Let's see what's happening. And it's going to be a handoff. There goes 34, who has a lot of room. He's going to pick up the first down. He's going to fumble it, and it's going to be recovered by St. Louis. But was he down? They are going to review it. He was on top of a defensive player, and it actually is overturned. So it's not going to be a turnover. That was pretty close, but a good run nonetheless from 34. We'll see if he could keep it going. First and 10 coming is going to be a passing play. Looking right side and caught. And it's going to be Quentin Robin. Who's looking pretty nice this season as the backup. is going to be first and 10 coming. DJ Church coming into this game. He's top three in regards to passing yards. So he knows what to do with the football. He's been keeping pace, but... Now it just needs to get that to turn into victories. You know what I'm saying? As we see big homie Jerry Riggs on the motion, going to look for a man to throw it to on the run, going to throw it into the grass. It's going to be incomplete. For the people that uh, haven't been here since uh, season seven, when we first moved to, since we first moved to Madden, you notice that the pants here are a little bit different for Dallas because they had a different jersey set for them. And as we see Jerry Riggs come through with the catch, uh, I gave him one of their other pants that they had in the past. So got the gray and black setup here. I may end up making an all black setup for Dallas eventually, but they do have dog green. So if I was to make a second alternate, that may be what I do for him. You know what I'm saying? But. Regardless of that, we're going to keep it moving here. It's first and 10 coming up. Dallas is on the move, and they're going to stretch it out to their halfback, who's going to make a juke move. Will we make will someone pay for it? Yes, he will. He stays on his feet, and he's running free, and he almost got all the way down the field. But it's another big carry there for number 34, a.k.a. the cheat code. He's going to make it first and 10 again. If Garrett Hart wasn't there, he probably would have been gone. As they tried to ground again, and they're just opening up holes right now for 34. He's just making it look easy. Three carries. All three of them have gone for a first down. The run defense here for St. Louis is getting tested early. It's going to be first and 10. Dallas is looking nice at home. Dallas, a fringe playoff team here. And looking for a man again. The pocket's decent. Going to throw it in. Look like he was trying to hit the tight end there, but make it hit the turf. It's going to be second and 10. Hey, 
Dallas looking for a score, looking for a man to church. Stays in the pocket, but too long. It's going to be a sack. That's William Thompson, the defensive tackle, getting into the mix. That's going to make it third and 17. Great pass rush there. The line held as much as he could, but I would like to see church move further up the in the pocket or we'll try to take this to the outside but it's all good we'll see what happens here dallas in scoring range they're going to send big homie rigs in motion and they're going to pass it again going to look for a man they're going to throw it to their homie rigs makes one man miss and that's all it takes number 17 the mile high the mile high connection is true touchdown dragons and all it's all it takes is one catch makes one man miss hit him with that May him may him wonder what's happening. Tristan Mitchell, the young uh, cornerback, could not do anything. As we make it six to nothing, we'll see the extra point from Victor Crime, and that looks pretty good. It's seven to nothing in favor of Dallas. We'll see the St. Louis team come to the field soon. Solid, solid drive here from the Dallas Dragons. They're trying to get their third victory of the season. They've had two cardiac arrest type of victories. They took it all the way to the end, and they found a way to get the job done. It's going to be interesting to see how it turns out. Like I said before, Dallas is currently 2-3. and three. They're in the fifth seed in the Western Conference, so one right above the team that is currently winless, Arizona. St. Louis is currently in the number two seed. They need to make sure they keep winning just for the off chance that Huntington Beach was to lose. If they was to lose any time this season and they find a way to tie it up, they may be able to get back in that number one seed. But Huntington Beach has been balling. We'll see them a little bit later this week. Maybe actually it should be tomorrow. Uh, as we see the pass, looking for a man, looking, throws it, got him in off sides, pairs glass, almost pick up, picks up the first. Will they make it first and five or take the second and short? They say first and five is perfectly fine, as it makes it a great catch, still, oh, um, although it wasn't uh, for anything. It was Paris Glass, the tight end. I got to check something really quick. Hold on. Okay, I'm good. Okay, cool. So, first and five here. Montaigne looking for their first official completion, and he's gonna, she's gonna find it. It's gonna be Kevin Lee down the sideline, 55, waiting to get to him, and that's the first big play of the day here for St. Louis. A very familiar duo, Montaigne to Lee. She won a few chips with that, uh, with that wide receiver, and is making the defense pay. And that was a good try there from. John Fowler, but I think he was just a little too late. Could not quite get his hand to the football as Montaigne's going to look middle of the field and caught. And there goes Lancelot with the catch. It's going to be second and four coming. What's going to happen here in this ball game? Shout out to everybody in the chat. You already know how we do. The games keep, keep ticking. Should be another fun right here. Another double header as that passes to the left. And there goes Namey. He's going to do it himself. Another touchdown on the season for the season eight MVP. And we should have ourselves a tie ball game. Great job there. Great drive. Started out with that long touchdown. I mean, that long pass there to uh, Kevin Lee. That set up the offense in a good position. And the passing attack cashes out. We'll see the field goal. I mean, the extra point, it is good. And we have ourselves a tie ball game again. Very nice to see. As this game is just getting start started, we're halfway through. Halfway through the first quarter. And both teams found a way to score.
Going back into it. Sending this one away. Going to be returned here past the 10. Getting past the 20, almost to the 30. They'll mark them down at the 27. And we could go ahead and talk about these two teams here. Let's go ahead and do it. It's going to be Dallas coming onto the field on offense. Kind of a short list here, but they said they're effective. Quarterback would be DJ Church in season number three. Both Jacobson and Quentin Rodman along with DJ Jackson and Joseph Eric Thompson. A four halfback set here for Dallas as we see a motion here. Once again, the Jerry Riggs might see him going on that setup again. And he had him open, but the pass is off the mark. Unfortunate. Uh, we talked about Jerry Riggs earlier. He scored the touchdown. He's up there in receiving guards. He's a top a top fledge wide receiver in the USFA through and through. But couldn't quite hang on to that pass. And he's another wide receiver. Well, he's one of two wide receivers here. Jerry Riggs and Isaiah Fowler. That pass is going to be appear to be dropped. But look like 420 Blunt Smoke was right there to make sure it wasn't an easy catch. Third and 10 coming. No tight ends here, but the kicker slash punter will be Victor Crime. We've seen him on the extra point a little earlier. We'll see if he comes back onto the field if this play doesn't work for Dallas. But the offense is trying to get something going here. Got the pistol. Looking. Turns up. Going to throw on the run and cannot get it. That's going to be fourth and ten coming up. And the St. Louis defense stands tall. Kind of unfortunate they did not go back towards the run game. The thing that helped them out on that drive. But it is what it is. Fourth down is coming. I was going to talk about the defense for saying, oh, I thought that was a fake for a second. I was tripping as we see a flag. And it's going to be returned. Should be going backwards 15 yards or so. Take it back to the 20. And it's going to be first and 10 coming up. First and 10 coming up. At formation handoff, and Name is going to get stuck by a familiar face, Wheezy Porter, a top five tackler in the league. Uh, whenever I get to some of my goodies at the midway point of the season, I should see him in the top five for sure. It's going to be second and eight. Handoff again. He's cutting back inside and going to run into 47 Rocky Ivan there. And if St. Louis was to pick up the first, I'll just talk about this Dallas defense. You know what I'm saying? It's third and four coming up. Dallas with the chance to do the exact same thing, hold them out of a first down. But it looks like St. Louis is going with the jumbo shotgun set. You don't see too many uh, plays like that. They're going to try to hand off, bounce outside, and snuck out. Rocky Ivan there to clean it up. That was going to be a big homie storm as well. It's going to be fourth and three. I almost called him Javad. I seen him on the uh, recording for the first game, but it is what it is. It looks like Dallas is going to stand tall on defense. Great tackle. Great defense all around because he had blockers, but chose the wrong hold there as we see a return here. Taking the pass to 30, pass to 35. And a great return there from number 26, Noah Bake. His first and 10 coming. But I'll talk about the defense here. The defense for uh, St. Louis really quick. Uh, defensive linemen will be Blaze Baxter, Jesse Leva, and Terrence Goldsberry. Rock Blazer, John Smith, Nicholas Watt will be the linebackers as we see another carry there from... Both Jacobson taking it to the 40. Four for 40 on the day on the ground. Great job. Uh, cornerbacks will be Christopher Baker, Tristan Mitchell, and 420 Blunt Smoke. Safeties will be Garrett Hart, Orlando Wolfgang, and Stevie Glades, along with Bobby Lee as well. So shout out to the big homies there. Second and seven coming. Going to be a fake of the handoff. Going to just throw that one away. He saw a man coming straight at his head. And he was like, nah, I'm not going to. I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> I 
Another deep pistol set here for Dallas. Trying to get the first down. Trying to get that offense rolling. They tried to hand off, and they're going to snuff it out. That's going to be a stop there. No gain. And St. Louis coming through with the overall game's third straight stop. We'll see the punt team coming. Time to send this one away. It is going to be returned. A juke move. Not too far, though. Take it to the 16-yard line. Going to make it first and 10 coming up. St. Louis back onto the field. We'll talk about their offense. Uh, quarterback will be the greatest of all time, in my personal opinion. Especially uh, just for how great she's been. This is her final season. That's Rebecca Montaigne. Already has a passing touchdown in this ball game. As we set up a short drop back or throw it short to the right side. There goes the big homie Ansel Tavian getting into the mix four for four so far in this ball game. It's going to be second and two. The uh, halfbacks will be actually just one halfback here is going to be naming McNamerson. Wide receivers will be Donovan Jones, Rocky Butter Butterfingers, Kevin Lee and Sir Lancelot. The latter already has some solid catches so far tonight. Um, let's see. It's second and seven here after that play, but uh, tight end wise, they have Ansel Taven. You've seen him on the catch, and Paris Glass, the rookie. Um, and kicker slash punter will be Daniel Carlstown, but uh, kicker slash punter. So we'll go ahead and see what St. Louis can do. We'll talk about the defense in a little bit for Dallas as we see a handoff looking for a hole, not gonna find one. Gonna be a stop again. It's third and five coming. Drag it over here real quick. I make sure I can see defense when I get to it. Third and medium coming up. Definitely manageable for St. Louis. But Dallas is keeping themselves in the game as the first quarter winds down. The final minute here. Almost got caught off sides. Not to be going to throw left side. Is going to be dropped by Rocky Butterfingers. Not to be. That's going to make it fourth and five. Now for the D-line for Dallas. I'll go ahead and talk about it since... Uh, can't quite get a long drive with a lot of punts so far. Uh, Manuel Sun, Thomas Noble. Those will be the D linemen here. Uh, linebackers will be Rocky Ivan, Devin Hill, Dude Lebowski, and Jackson Storm. As we see the return here, going to try to get past the 35. Going to be marked right there. Um, yeah, that's the linebackers there. Cornerbacks will be John Fowler, Raven Kenobi, Kobe Froby, and Noah Bake. Uh, safeties will be Jay Mangum, Wheezy Porter, and Joey Phillips. And that'll be all of the players here featured in this particular ball game here. Shout out to Dallas. Shout out to St. Louis. Shout out to the USFA. You know what I'm saying? As we see a handoff. And he's going to get snuffed out again as the run defense here for St. Louis is starting to pick up the speed a little bit. Getting to the halfback. It's going to be a gain of nothing. Should see potentially one more play here. In this uh, first quarter, we'll see what happens. I got the uh, giveaway tonight for our featured presentation on Twitch. So make sure you watch out for that. They're going to fake the handoff. Will they get the block? No, they will not. That is going to be Blaze Baxter closing out quarter number two. Sorry, quarter number one. But as we move to quarter number two, now it's a third and long situation. Great job, though, by the past rush there as you see it's gonna throw it short it's gonna be a flag is it on dallas yes it is it's gonna be declined there and it's gonna be fourth and 15 take him off the field a little bit and it looked like off was trying to get back to hold them give him some time but not to be got to that backfield really quick that's why you upgrade so you Beat the uh, opposing player that you're going against. You know what I'm saying? There's going to be a punt, though. Looks like the fifth straight punt. Going to be returned here and tackled immediately. Great, great job there from number 26. It's going to be first and 10. That was Noah Bake on the tackle. Special teams guru. Not going to lie, that gray and black combo goes in. I may have to make a 
I may need to redo this shirt, uh, pants set and then add the like the normal black uh, format. So I'm I'm gonna work on that while I have a little time. But it's gonna be second and three coming up. Gonna keep it on the ground. Why not? It's a good play. And that will keep the drive alive here for St. Louis. It's first and 10 coming up here. Manuelson with the tackle. The rookie D lineman got around the edge a little bit late. I would like to see him do a little bit more around that tackle. But hey, you made the tackle when you need to. So first and 10 coming up. Dallas trying to get off the field. St. Louis looking to push the ante as they stretch it to the outside. And it looks like John Fowler was ready. That is going to be a gain of one. Dallas with the chance here, but they need to do good on second down. Make sure they don't get any yards or make sure they don't get any uh, get too many positive yards. And it looks like it's going to be a pass this time around. Going to launch the left side is going to be caught. And that is going to be Rocky Butterfingers with the catch and it's going to make it third and short. Now, can Dallas get off of the field? That's the question. Drop back here for Montaigne, looking for a man to throw it to. Finds an open man. That's Kevin Lee with the burners. Weezy Porter jerking out, but he cannot touch the man when he's free. Kevin Lee putting work in, and that will put St. Louis on top. Second touchdown of the day for Montaigne through the air. And Kevin Lee, he's deadly after the catch. He's one of the better run after the catch receivers we have in this league and the kick is going to be nowhere near close i saw it go up and i was like nope that ain't gonna happen but st louis with the lead regardless um get a six point lead dallas will get the football back nine minutes left in the second got ourselves a solid ball game we've seen a lot of defensive stops uh no turnovers quite yet you never know what happens we had a lot of games with no turnovers but i love seeing the turnovers i love the defensive players getting shine and we're going to keep it moving here folks don't go anywhere the games keep rocking like i always say we got the advertisements coming at halftime and then we'll see who gets the victory from there shout out to that helmet though that helmet go hard Definitely need to take that uh, logo there, as you can see right there uh, on that right side of your screen. But I'll, I'll get to it. It's it's like another file as, as, as opposed to actually having like one file for the whole helmet. Like it's another file that I got to take out. I've just been kind of a little lazy on that side. And I've been busy on top of that. But it's going to be first and 10 coming up regardless. Dallas on the move. And they're going to see if they can tie the ball game and potentially take the lead with the extra points. So we'll see what happens here. Two field goals could tie it, but I'm sure Dallas has bigger dreams than to wait a quarter and some change to tie the ball game up as we see a fake. And he faked everybody in the pass is not on target. Trying to get it to the tight end, not to be. 4 for 11 today through the air for church. Hmm. Dallas needs to get something going here as they fake the handoff looking for a man right side is wide open and it looks like the bot tight end doesn't help him out that's going to be third and ten coming up Third and ten coming. I'm gonna hand this one off right side. There goes the big homie, and he probably should have just kept running straight, as he probably messed that one up. He should have just kept on running, but gonna be fourth and three. We should see the punt team again. Mm -hmm. 
sending this one away is Victor Crime. Going to get it to around the 18-yard line. Almost broke free from the tackle, but Noah Big with another sound tackle in special teams is going to be first and 10. Faking the handoff. Is she going to launch it? Yes, she is. And it's another dot. It's going to be back to 83. And that's going to get him inside Dallas territory. All it takes is one. And it's going to be first and 10. Gonna send this right side is gonna be hit in the backfield by Rocky Ivan. Gonna be a hold on top of it, make it first and twenty. So bad play all the way around. First and twenty here. Montaigne will give it to Namie. Going to push past a few men. Gets to midfield. So it does cut that uh, chain up a little bit. Going to be second and 13 coming up. Second and 13. Got the bunch all the way to the top of your screen. How would they utilize it? That's the question. It's going to be a pass. Going to look. Going to look. Bill Field. That was almost picked off. Probably should have been, but going to be third down coming up here. Can Dallas get off of the field? Hold them away for more points. looking for a man gonna get the pass rush hit as she throws gets it away and that'll be her third and completion of the day so pretty stellar day nonetheless but the blocking did all it could should see the punt team come along Sending this one bouncing and it looks pretty good down at the three as St. Louis comes through with the clutch play on special teams and we'll see what Dallas could do with half of the second quarter to work with. In the end zone is Church. And they're going to go ahead and hand it off to the trusty halfback who's going to give him some breathing room. I thought he was going to break out, but he is over 50 yards on the game. I want to see if he could keep him moving. Second and four coming up. Handoff here. There it goes off. Going to get close to the 10, but not past it. The defense once again for St. Louis tightening up. Now it's going to be third and three. Me personally, I say give a more direct half uh, halfback run to number 34. See if he could pick it up. But it looks like they are in pistol. And they are going to give it to him. And he gets dragged away from the sticks. I thought he would have broke that one, but a great tackle from Goldsberry shuts this drive down again. Dallas, after that first touchdown, non-existent on the offensive side of things. And we can't say that Ulf hasn't got any carries either. He's been getting touches, but outside of those uh, first plays where he was getting 10 yards, 13 yards, 12 yards, he's been getting hit a little bit as we see Froby and Bake just dismantle that big dog Kevin Lee but it's going to be St. Louis pretty much back to where they was before the punt we'll see if they could take advantage of it move the ball down the field and extend the lead pass 
passing it, looking for a man. It's going to be right side and almost picked off by Wheezy Porter. He was right there, but that is not to be going to make a second and 10. Looking for a man, right side and caught, sorry, left side, there goes Paris Glass getting into the mix. His first catch, I believe, of the game is going to be first and 10 coming up. Gain of 12, good job there. And now they're inside the 40. Let's see where they can take it as they go a little bit jumbo. They do have a wide receiver there as we see a fake of the handoff looking for a man looks left side and caught there goes Kevin Lee again past the 20 past the 15 market at the 13 is going to be first and 10 coming for the Aches on the road looking pretty nice and he's four for 159 there for Kevin Lee. Definitely a good time to check out Lancelot. Lancelot is a red zone demon, but they give it to the other demon. It's going to be Namie McNamerson. A touchdown through the air and a touchdown on the ground. Number 26 is lethal. And we should see the two point conversion here, making a 21 seven game. No, they're actually going to take the extra point here. Surprised at that one, but it's all good to go. Kick is going to be up. Kick is going to be good. And he does knock it through. And it's going to make it 20 to 7 here for St. Louis. Dallas at home. They need to get their offense rolling. Preferably getting a, getting a score, whether that's a field goal or a touchdown before the half would be key. Would like to see uh, Mr. Riggs tested a little bit deep on this one. Tried the secondary a little bit. We haven't seen him try to take the top off a little bit and also see if they could try to get Ulf Jacobson more in space that'll, that'll be a definitely a thing that they could do as well Sending this one away. Let's see what they could do past the 20. Gets to the 26 yard line. And here comes the big homies in Dallas. They're trying to get something going here. It's first and 10 again. Making the handoff. Let him look for a man. Right side is going to be caught by DJ Jackson. A short gain there, but a gain nonetheless. Going to make it three on that one. Haven't seen too much Joseph Eric Thompson this season. It's been mostly off uh, Quentin Robin and big homie. Uh, what's the wrong look for? Um, and Quentin Robin, big homie DJ Jackson. As we see a fake of the handoff, they tried the read option. That ain't going to cut it. Actually, they called it a sack. Interesting play call there, but that is called a sack. Number 11 and a 93 was right there to clean it up. I formation here. And it's going to be another pass here. Looking for someone to throw it to. He's going to take off to run. And he going to throw it past the line of scrimmage. You've seen it right there. That ain't going to help him out. Fourth and 13. Might as well accept it. Well, they said decline it. So I would have accepted it. Three yards is three yards. That's three yards that you don't have to worry about when you get the football back. But hey, we keep it moving here. And it's going to be fourth and 10 to Dallas off. The Dallas offense has not been pretty after that first touchdown. 
like the St. Louis defense has settled into it. It's going to be a return. Yes, it is. And Kevin Lee's going to take it close to the 30. Mark him down at the 28. And it's going to be first and 10 again here for St. Louis. Fresh off of a touchdown drive. First and 10 again, looking left side and going to be caught. I thought he was about to snipe that for the INT, but Raven not quite quick enough to the draw. And number 15 will hang on through contact. It's first and 10 coming here for St. Louis. What can St. Louis do here? Gonna send a lot of different directions here, and he does hang on. Surprisingly, is Rocky Brotherfingers. Good job there in traffic, but there were so many things happening. I seen the receiver go deep. I seen one go across the field. I seen one go towards the opposite sideline of where he started. I mean, that's what you gotta do, those man beaters, as we see a false start here for St. Louis. St. Louis in the white and blue. Dallas in the gray and black as we see a pass again for Montaigne. Right side going to be caught. There goes Rocky Butterfingers. And there goes Wheezy Porter wrangling him down. A big play there from the rookie. He's been adding a lot of value here to this offense. I like his jip. It's going to be first and 10 again for the Archers. And I thought he was going to grab his legs and take him out, but... He just shrugged it off and kept it moving. And it looks like St. Louis is back in field goal range. Now they're looking for something else. Something much more uh, lucrative, if you will. First and 10, passing it again. Pass rush trying to get home and it does. That's a sack, and there will be another timeout. Great job there from number 76. I believe that's a bot player. Don't think that was 78. That would have been Thomas Noble, but great job nonetheless. Passing the pass was trying to get home, avoids the rush, and just throws it away as Montaigne. Gonna make it third and 16. Still in field goal range, technically. It will be like a 48 yarder or so. Looking Montaigne, left side is going to be caught. There goes a spin move, another spin move, but not enough to pick up the first. And St. Louis will more than likely take their final time out, take the three, and see where it goes from there. Not mad at it. And you see right there, you almost got through that jump, but uh, not to be the great effort there from Sir Lancelot. Love the drip, too. We got the arm tape that kind of bleeds into the glove. You know what I'm saying? You see right there, that was pretty clean. Great job there from first fray on the creation, but it's going to be fourth and five from the left hash. We'll see what happens on this particular play. Kick is going to be up and it will be no good actually. So that's four points off the board here for St. Louis. They're still in a pretty sizable lead here, but you know, those four points could go a long way. It would have been 24 to seven as opposed to 20 and seven. That keeps Dallas in business. Going into the second half, we should see perhaps the I formation set. Maybe a handoff, but looks like the right tackle there. Not making things too much easier here for Dallas. Gonna make it first and 15.
And it's going to be another pass here. They're sending everyone deep except for one. That's going to be Jerry Riggs there who's going to pick up a few yards. Actually, he's going to pick up nothing. Did he catch it? I don't think he caught it. More of a shotgun set here. Protection. Solid. Takes off to run. Gonna launch it. Middle of the field and no one's home. This next one should be more of a Hail Mary set. Even though that last one was. Uh, looked like he uh, took off to run. He's not, a, not the greatest on throwing at the run. At throwing down the run. There you go. <laughs> Gotta get my words right. But. DJ Church with the final play here of the first half. Will they see a miracle? It will be a launch to the middle of the field and going to be incomplete. Incomplete <laughs> at the last second right there. I see what you did there. It was on his chest, but not quite in the hand. So we'll take that to the half. 20 to 7 is seven, ah, 20 to 7 is the score going into half number two good job by both of these teams but we got to take care of the housekeeping as you already know shout out to the homies at dubby if you want to get a great replacement in regards to your energy drink make sure you get some of this dubby right here usfas9 is the code to get 10 percent off of each and every order that you choose to have with them Great, great product as always. We keep it moving. Make sure that you show some love to the big homies and we'll be thankful that you show love to us in regards to getting some W as well. You'll be directly supporting the USFA by getting the official energy drink of the USFA. Uh, also, shout out to the big homies at Paladem. If you sign a contract in regards to getting your software set up for your business, you'll also be directly supporting the USFA by doing so. A great uh, product and a great group of people that can help you out. They're going to make sure that you're all good to go and make sure that your business is running in tip top shape every single time you know what i'm saying also shout out to the big homies and the gsb they're one of our three affiliates here the gsb is for gold standard basketball if you want to play some basketball in the sim league format the gsb is the perfect place to do it and you'll be in our little circle in regards to our own virtual sports network you know what i'm saying we're keeping it moving uh also shout out to goals that's great one hockey league sim just like the name suggests you could be the greatest one in hockey make sure that you show some love to them a great product as well they keep the games rolling each and every day and i love what they could do over there i'm not a fan of hockey personally but i know there's some hockey fans out there that want to be the greatest and that's the place that you should do it finally we'll wrap this one up with the big homies at the ecfl elite college football league where the nfl they're pretty much the ncaa if you want to look at it like that but whenever they finish their collegiate football careers they will be drafted by one of our 12 teams including the two teams that you see here today including the two teams that you see here tonight in the twitch game and outside of that we could go ahead and get back into it folks it's been a great great evening it's been a fun ride doing this, and I'm going to keep it moving. You already know the games keep on ticking. Let's go ahead and get back into it. It's going to be sending this one away. And let me go ahead and get the sound on for you. Thank you. As we see the return, St. Louis with the 13-point lead. Keeps his feet. He's still up, and he's going to finally fall down. Couldn't quite get away. But to the 28-yard line is where St. Louis will start it out. It's first and 10. Looking for a handoff. There goes Name, who gets past the 35 yard line. 10 for 48. A passing touch, or not passing, a receiving touchdown and a rushing touchdown so far to his name. Gonna make a second and two. Hand off again. He's going to almost get the first down, but look at the pursuit ankle there from Wheezy Porter. He's one of the best in the league for a reason. It's going to be third and inches coming up. 
great job there to at least hold them to third down but third and inches fairly easy if you got 26 in your backfield gonna be a bunch formation at the top of your screen and it's gonna be passing it again they got Paris glass to the right side he's gonna make the catch he's gonna push forward and Wheezy Porter cleans it up gonna get him past the 45 first and 10 coming again for st. Louis great job here so far as they move closer to midfield Thirty plays so far for St. Louis. Nineteen of them have been passes. As a short drop back is going to be a slant route there to the big homie Lancelot, who's going to haul it in. And Montaigne is shooting at a seventy-five percent clip. The drive continues here for the Arches. Jumbo set and it will fake the handoff blocking solid the pass gonna try to get around the man he's pushing forward and Ansel Tavian was able to make something out of nothing it looked like it was gonna be around like a two or three yard gain turned into a seven to eight yard gain second and two Or stretch this out and there goes the block and there goes the man running free and pushed out by Wheezy to get to the 16 Naming McNamerson one of his better games so far this season gonna make it first and 10 coming again Passing it Gonna launch it and gonna be caught again by Kevin Lee. Knocking at the door. The homie looking in the window, trying to find where he at. That's gonna be another touchdown. St. Louis goes up again. And they're starting to run away with it. And actually, they're gonna go for the two-point conversion now, as opposed to the last time. I don't know why they're doing it now, but not last time. But hey, they're gonna try to get it. Gonna try to get the Touchdown takes off to run and she got the speed to do it herself avoids the sack and put two more points on the board That's going to put it up 28 to 7 Great awareness there And right now it's not looking very pretty as uh, st. Louis scores two straight touchdowns i mean st louis scores four straight touchdowns after giving up the touchdown to dallas and hasn't been too much of a whimper since not a lot of great vibes here from dallas in this particular ball game i love this concept but we've got to see a little bit more for them get a little bit more consistent i think Excuse me. I think it's going to start with adding more weapons. So definitely need to see some more draftees come their way. See if they can add some talent here as we make it first and 10. Dallas is back onto the field and they have 20 minutes to see if they can foster a comeback. If you want to look at it, seven minutes, a seven minutes, a touchdown and they cannot give up any more points. A little less than seven minutes of touchdown I'd say but they're gonna give it to the big homie who has a lot of speed maybe they can get the touchdown early I think I called something Aaron Jackson Aaron Jackson's brother is going to take it in and there goes the chief code all it takes is one 420 blunt smoke he dove the wrong way I think he was high on that play but regardless of that Dallas will cut that lead down real quick and as a doink off the left side by Victor crime in the game where you need to come back every point counts you hate to see that there but we'll see what happens here as Dallas goes up to 13 points on the ball game So now a two-point conversion will be needed for Dallas to continue to come back. But 
We just talked about it. They needed to score three times in 20 minutes. They scored in less than 20 seconds. <laughs> so all was good on that particular play. Off Jacobson adding to his total. I want to see exactly where he is currently. Let me see if I can bring it up real quick. Going into this game at the very least, right? So Ulf Jacobson is a top six rusher. I believe he should get over 100 yards with that last play. So he should be at least in the top four with Namie McNamerson on the other side added his totals as well. But we'll see what happens after the week shakes out where exactly it is. The halfback uh, crew is going to be very interesting. My personal opinion is wide open for second place because Doc Boone has just been ridiculous this season. I believe he has two games over 200 yards apiece. So <laughs> if he continues on that pace, it's going to be a long sledding there for the rest of the squads. But it looks like it's going to be a pushback there. Two Dragons takes down the Season 8 MVP. It's going to be second and six coming up here. Going back to a single back formation, jumbo, jumbo type. And it's going to be a drop back on the look middle of the field and caught. There goes the big homie, Sir Lancelot, with another bucket. Move it down the field. Keep it moving. The gold cleats looking nice. It's going to be first and 10 for St. Louis. Joey Phillips there cleaned it up along with Raven Kenobi. Need to get pressure on the quarterback if you're Dallas. They're going to send a corner bullet. Throwing on the run. Still finds his man, Paris Glass. Getting another big play there. It's going to be first and 10 coming up. Nice job. Doing like 3 for 33 so far for the young tight end. He's been doing pretty well in my opinion. I'd say he's a top 20 receiver, including tight ends. Uh, but he wants to improve on that for sure. First and 10 coming Gonna be handing this one off, and there goes Namie pushing over 75 yards so far today. The second and medium. Hand off again, and they left the hole, but there's a flag on the play. Should take that one back. Second and 15 coming up. Looks like it was on the left side of the line. Going to make it second and 15. Gonna be passing it, looking, throws it straight to Namie. Why not? Gonna shed off one man and get stuck. Trying to go back up the field, and now it's gonna be third and ten. And you see right there, my big homie Montaigne throwing at an 80% clip now. Last time I said it, last time I said it, she was at 75, so that's completions all day as we see third and ten coming up. And they're going to fake the handoff. They're going to send the blitz to Wheezy, but it doesn't get home. Looking to turn up. They're going to get sacked. It's going to be Kobe Froben getting into the mix. A big stop there. And that'll make it fourth and 17. Dallas needed that one. That gives them a chance. That gives them a chance here. We'll see where the punt goes. Sending this one away. It's going to be into the end zone for a touchback. And Dallas get into the end zone one more time. Now, preferably, right, you'd want to get the touchdown before the third quarter ends. That will be most preferred setup here. They still have 15 minutes. There's definitely enough time to get down the field, get another stop, tie it up potentially. First and 10 coming up. Looking for a man. Going to take off to run. Throws it straight to Ulf, who's going to roll to the 25-yard line. 7 for 18 on the day for Church. Not pretty. 
if we're being 100% honest with each other right here, I'm in the booth, you're listening to me in the chat. Gonna be second and five though. And they're gonna try the ground game again and off will push forward to make the third down manageable. Third and three coming up. Thirty plays so far for Dallas. Eighteen of them passes. Will they give it back to the ground game? Yes, they will. And there goes off picking up the first. So the drive will continue. Great job there from the veteran getting it done. Back to the pistol here. Off going into this game average is seven yards a carry. You hope that they'd use them a little bit more as they give it to him again, trying to bounce it to the outside, dragged away from the 35. Going to pick up a gain of about two. Passing it again, looking for a man right side and overthrows Riggs, who was open over on that side. It's going to be third and eight coming up. Now going for seven, it's going seven for 18, and you're still within distance to tie the game up. You better thank your defense because honestly, uh, that is not very pretty, but he has a chance to rectify all of those wrongs here with the great third quarter going into it. There goes a catch. There goes a uh, horse monger getting past the 45 yard line in traffic. He missed the catch earlier. This is a bot player. This is not a user, but he got the job done when they needed it. That was a great play. And Dallas still has life should be the last play of the third quarter. Dallas looking to do the unthinkable as they fake the handoff. Great blocking on the back end. They'll throw it to the right side. DJ to DJ gets to the 36. And that should take us to the end of quarter numero three. Let's go ahead and get into it. Throw your fours up. Let's see what the Dragons could do at home. They're trying to do something crazy. There's going to be another pass here. Going to look for a man right side and just throws it over the head of Isaiah Fowler, who has yet to get uh, rolling in this ball game. Riggs and Fowler, they got slowed down in the first half. I don't even think uh, Fowler has a catch. So that's testament to how good the St. Louis defense has been tonight in the secondary. But it's that formation here, third and four coming. You could give it to 34. I wouldn't be mad at you, but they send the blitz. It doesn't get home. Going to launch this right side over the head of Fowler again. Now, it's out of field goal range. Me, personally, I say go for it. What's the worst that could happen? You're already down. They, they agree with me here. Going to see fourth and four come up. Looking for a man. Going to launch middle of the field and caught by Riggs. Give him 15 more. And that is a play that rivals all plays there. That was clutch. I'm not even going to lie to you. That sets Dallas up at the nine. What a play. Dallas is in business. On 1140, 1140 on the clock. Going to see what he can do here with the passing attack. Going to look towards Riggs and that was almost picked off. You kind of want to lob that one towards the back of the end zone. Don't give the defensive player a chance. But it's going to be second and goal, though. Passing it again. Looking for a man. Going to launch it. End zone. Incomplete. Now it's third and goal.
Definitely not field goal territory. I think it's touchdown or bust. My personal opinion. Having to do this again will be very tough. But they're going to send a man in motion. They're going to hand it off. And he's not going to get the job done. And I get it. Get it. I get what they were trying to do with the go to 34. I think if they blocked it a little bit better up the middle, we'd be saying that Dallas got a touchdown. But the D line made the play. And it looks like they are going to take the field goal here. Hopefully, Victor Crime can get his uh, foot in gear. He missed the extra point earlier. And that is going to be good, though. Make it a 12 point ball game. It was still in this. They just need to get the stop. We'll see what the team could do. Let's see what happens here. Going to be returned now. Taking it past the 35 yard line to the 37. Great return. It's going to be first and 10. St. Louis with the chance to essentially wrap this one up. They are in the driver's seat. The offense has been near spectacular for most of the game, but they struggled on that last drive. We'll see what they do here. They're going to fake it to the big homie, Namerson. They're going to throw it. going to be tipped up. And the great coverage there. Going to make a second and ten. Handoff goes outside, sheds off one man, then uses that speed to pick up the first down, runs into Wheezy Porter, and it don't matter. If you don't wrap them up, it's game over. It's first and 10 coming. A great job. They're from Namie. Just keep that one alive. Gonna be faking it and then hand it off, but the defense of Dallas was ready. Take it backwards, thanks to the hold the penalty. We'll start this one out at the 37. It's gonna be first and 20. Going to be passing it, looking for a man. Montaigne's just going to throw this one away. Another incompletion as that moves her closer to 75%, which <laughs> still pretty good. But it's going to be second and 20 here. The passing attack is kind of helping Dallas if they can't find a completion, though. So interesting to keep a note at that time there at the top right of your screen, right on that ticker. We'll see what happens here. May see a run game, run play here. No, it's going to be a pass. Going to back up, takes off to run, and finds a dot. And there goes Rocky, past the 30. He's by himself, and that is going to be ridiculous. Touchdown, St. Louis. Thirty-four to sixteen. Not looking very pretty here for Dallas. As we see this one go through. Thirty-five to sixteen. Granted. Well, it's still a three possession game, no matter how you want to slice it, but Dallas State did try to get the comeback. 
might have fell a little short, and that touchdown might have been the dagger. We'll see if Dallas can uh, try to get their touchdown really quickly like they did the last time. Cut it back to a 12-point ball game. Kicking this one away. It is going to be returnable. Here comes Dallas. Return past the 20. Great blocking. A juke move. Going to push forward to get close to the 30. A respectable return there. But Dallas needs to pick it up. They need to get rolling here. It's first and 10 coming. DJ Church at quarterback. It's going to be a big drop back here. Going to look to take off a run, and that's going to be deflected trying to get it to Robin. No dice there. 10 for 27. It's going to be second and 10. Normally, if you have less than less completions than your jersey number, that's not a good look. Especially going into the fourth as we see another drop back church is looking for somebody going to throw this once again over the head of big homie Fowler who I believe has yet to have a catch in this ball game. He's been on complete clamp mode. So good job there on the cornerback who's been guarding him up. Going to be another drop back here. Third and 10. Right side. Going to be caught. And this time he beat him. And that is going to be Fowler there with the great catch. Going to make it first and 10. Gain a 13 there. And it looked like he was right there still. I'd call that a catch. I definitely called that a catch. Great uh, view of the drip right there. But Dallas needs to pick it up. Going to look for a man. Going to throw this right side and going to be deflected. 20 on 20 crime. Number 20 says no to that play. Looking for a man to throw to and another throwaway. This might be the record for throwaways. I'm not even going to lie to you. You got to give credit to that D line here for St. Louis, who's just been harassing a uh, big homie church to say the least. There's going to be third and 10 coming up. Short drop back looking right side and caught. Going to get to the 45 yard line. That's not enough for the first. Should see the offense stay on the field here. No point in going off. If you want to come back, you got to get, you got to earn these points. St. Louis isn't going to give it up lightly. They've been playing very well. And this particular ball game is going to be passing it again. Looks right side, looking towards off, trying to punch it out, trying to lean forward the first, but he's just not able to reach out. His arm was occupied, trying to hold on to the football. And St. Louis makes the play. And I'll give him the football right back. Montaigne handed off to the big home and gonna turn up and get to the 46. Namey is nine yards away from 100, so that'll definitely help his totals. He goes into this game. Let me see how many yards he has. He has 397, so he's definitely doing very well for himself. Averaging six a carry and three touchdowns. Well, three rushing touchdowns coming into this game. He got one earlier. As we see a motion here, should be another handoff. Yes, it is going to push forward and not quite get the first down. 
Going to make it third and two. Work the ground game, work the clock. Fun fact so far, the longest carry of the season goes to Ulf Jacobson with the 82 yarder. And I don't know how long that other carry was earlier, but he's up there. He can make the big plays as looks like that's going to be a gain of one. Not enough for the first It's going to be fourth and one. Now, St. Louis could go for it. See if they could pick it up. See if they could burn more clock, but it looks like they will give it back to Dallas here. Sending this one away to the left side, and it looks like it's going to be in the end zone. Not to be there for the pin. Great try by Carlstown, but going to make it first and 10. Dallas is back onto the field. I think this may be where we start seeing some completions there for DJ Church. Looking for a play, We're gonna throw it short and tackled immediately. Number 11 does make the stop. We're gonna make it second and six. That's Garrett Hart there using that speed. Formation looking for the first is church going to throw a short again, and that was testy. That was Orlando Wolfgang with the SWAT, and it's going to be third and six now. Third and six coming. Let me passing it again, looking for a man left side and almost picked off by 420. Not to be there, fourth and six coming up. And just how just I was talking about, we might see some completions. Not to be yet on this drive. As a fourth down, we should see the offense stay on, try to keep the game in their particular favor to keep the drive alive. They're gonna send big homie in motion. And they're going to try to hand off, and that is not going to work. Would have liked to see a pass, but at the same time, outside of a few here and there, it hasn't really been effective. I think I, if I would have tried to pass, I would have liked to see a screen pass. Maybe try to get it to 34 while they ain't taking the, while they ain't looking. But St. Louis is back in scoring distance here. As they send Paris Glass in motion, expecting the run game to continue, and it will. Gonna be taken to around uh, 23, make it a 24. Handoff, and there's a big hold there for number 26, who's going to pick up the first down. That'll officially get him over 100 yards on the ground. And St. Louis just keeps on chugging. They should go to 5-1 and one on the season. A very impressive campaign up to this point. They've been dominant pretty much all season long outside of their loss in week one. But every team that stepped up to them up to this point uh, since then has been it hasn't been like completely railroaded. They had some uh, close games here and there, but outside of that, St. Louis has found a way to get the job done. So, got to give kudos to Turks, the team owner, well, the GM and Mr. Glass uh, for St. Louis. They've been putting in a lot of work here as Dallas appears to go to 2 and 4 on the season. Still well within the range to get back into the race for the final playoff spot. But never say never. As we look to see right side is going to be in some traffic. And that is going to be caught again by Lee in traffic. And that's going to make it first and goal. St. Louis five yards away from putting on a 40 burger today. 
tackle there by Fowler. 50 plays on offense. 30 of them have been passes, so 60% if you want to get technical, if you want to get statistical. As we see a pass again, middle of the field and caught. Sir Lancelot coming through with it. Second and goal coming up. Six for 60. So averaging the first down to catch there for number 15. He's not mad at it. And off in another score, there goes Name it. McNamison throwing that in the crowd. And that'll be all she wrote and put uh, more than likely for this ball game. A great job from St. Louis. Sending this one away again to Dallas. Return from the one yard line. Here comes Raven Kenobi, who is going to get to the 23 and not too much further. First and 10 again, here comes Dallas. Drop back here for Church. Takes off to run, and it's not gonna be pretty. That's a sack. Jesse Leva getting the job done there. A loss of 13. Tough breaks there. Gonna look, throws the left side, going to be caught. But did he get his feet in bounds? Yes, he did. Third and 12 coming up. Third and 12 coming up. Dallas trying to get anything going here. Looking for a mango slant route and some coverage and not to be. No, it's like Dallas will not be trying to go for it here. And St. Louis pretty much has the right of way to slow this game down to a halt. Going with the shotgun set and it looks like the right tackles. He's messing up for no reason. It's first and 15 coming up. Yeah. 
sending the man in motion. Gonna hand it off to the big homie who's gonna pick up a few more yards, maybe one more opportunity to run the football here today. And we'll go ahead and take this one to the bridge or the chorus, whichever one that you wanna go to. As St. Louis, like I mentioned earlier, will go to five and one on the season. Say they're top three, four, three to four team here in the league. I'd say number three at the very least, as we see the handoff bouncing off a man, and that'll be his last touch there. 22 for 113. A great, great movement there. And it's gonna make it third and nine. And that'll be the end of this one, folks. Final score will be 42 to 16. Dallas had a little bit of a fight earlier. They had a chance to potentially come back, but the offense just could not get rolling when they needed to. And that is going to be the end of this one here, folks. 517 total yards here for St. Louis. A clinic. A clinic on offense. And that's what Montana could do for any offense that she takes uh, the field for. It's unfortunate that she's going to be retiring at the end of it, but she has greener pastures on the other side of the football field. If you catch what I'm saying, you see right there, Dallas, less than 20 minutes of offense. Granted, they did have a long rushing touchdown uh, that kind of supplemented that. So uh, St. Louis did a real good job, though, 28 minutes on offense uh looking at the passing stats montane on point 24 for 31 for tds uh longest pass of 63 dj church on the other side had the longest of 24 uh one touchdown 148 passing yards so that's definitely going to hurt his standing there in regards to the passing yards but it is what it is especially the completion percentage right there not good right there with 39 percent uh rushing wise only a few names here uh, Naomi mcnamerson 22 for 113 two tds elf jackson 16 carries 143 yards and one td so both taking the top off getting some great runs uh it looks like the longest run though was 75 we said his longest was 82 so we didn't quite break that but great nonetheless Receiving wise, uh, off led in catches, well, tied with led in catches, uh, with uh, Ulf Jackson getting five for 21. Jerry Riggs got the touchdown, and that was pretty much it for him there. Five for 68. Uh, DJ Jackson, two for nine. Isaiah Fowler, one for 13. Quentin Robin, one for 13. And you see right there, Jerry Riggs, not so great right there with two drops, and it looks like the bot player had the longest catch so the longest for a user you can skip that whoever's putting the stats in but the longest is going to be 20 here for jerry riggs great job but you can still put 24 uh for the quarterback just for the longest just make sure you start from riggs down you know what i'm saying on the other side we're going to keep it moving here kevin lee with a hell of a day seven catches 185 yards and two touchdowns you see the rack right there to run out the catch great job uh sir lancelot six for 60 rocky butterfingers four for 110 and one touchdown paris class three for 33 hansel tavian two for 16 Naomi mcnamerson two for 13 one of those catches was a touchdown and the longest catch of the day goes to rocky for that long touchdown earlier to pretty much put the game on nice uh defensively let's talk about it um looks like uh garrett hart led the way with nine tackles orlando wolfgang with eight william thompson with four rock blazer with three jesse label with three blaze baxter with three 420 blunt smoke with two tristan mitchell with two john smith with two stevie glades with two uh christopher baker with the one uh, Terrence Goldberry will one, Nicholas White will one, and Ansel Tavian and Paris Glass each get a tackle. Uh, tackles for loss, there are none for St. Louis. They didn't need it. <laughs> Blaze Baxter leads the way, though, with sacks one and a half on the day. Jesse Leva with one, William Thompson with one, Garrett Hart with half a sack, so he split with Baxter. No INTs, pass deflections, 420 blunt smoke. Good lord, four pass deflections. Uh, Orlando Wolfgang with two, Christopher Baker with one, and no other stats here. On the other side, looks like we got Raven Kenobi leading the way with 12 tackles, Weezy Porter with 10, 
John Fowler with seven, Rocky Ivan with seven, uh, Noah Bake with six, Kobe Fobie with five, Dude Lebowski with four, Jay Mangum with three, Joey Phillips with three, Manuel Sun with three, Devin Hill with three, Jackson Storm with three, Thomas Noble with two, and that is all the user plays there outside of DJ Jackson, who ends up getting a uh, tackle as well. No tackles for loss for either team. Interesting set there. As we see Thomas Noble and Kobe Froby there doing their thug. This will get in the sack on Montaigne. And it looks like Kobe Froby with two pass deflections. John Fowler with one. No fumbles or anything like that. That's all the defensive stats there. Uh, looks like a bot battle here. You see a lot of inconsistencies on both sides. Victor Crime, he did miss one extra point, but he did make his field goal. Daniel Carlstown missed his field goal, and he missed one of his extra points. So, inconsistencies, but that is what happens when you have a bot kicker. I believe there is one available, so shouldn't be any excuses. Go after him if you can, if you haven't reached out. Um, let's see, there's 11 kickoffs. Um, and it looks like one touch back there from Carlstown. Uh, let's see. 51 is the longest punt of the day from Carlstown. Victor Crime had a 49-yarder. And it looks like they average pretty much the same uh, 47 and some change maybe. So we'll see what we have for here on the kick return. It looks like 4 for 114 and 6 for 141 from Kevin Lee and Kenobi respectively. And for the punt return, 2 for 21 for Noah Bake. Kevin Lee, 6 for 28. And that is going to be it, folks. We're going to go ahead and wrap this one up on this game. Been a fun ride as always, but you already know I got to go to the next one like I'm Jay-Z or something. And we got Pittsburgh at Tampa Bay. Winner of this ball game gets sole possession of the second seed in the Eastern Conference. So a big matchup here. Do not miss out on this one. I'll be in the booth with the big homie, uh, Krim, on this one. So it should be a fun ride as always. But until then, stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. Ah.